you, Cypher. India's first multi-gaming, multi-platform e-sports championship. Six teams of 14 players each compete across four games. Counter-Strike Global Offensive, Dota 2, Tekken 7 and Real Cricket 17. Each team faces the other team twice in the league stage. And three points each are awarded to the winning teams of Tekken 7 and Real Cricket 17 in each match. Five points each are awarded to the winning teams of Dota 2 and CSGO games in a match. The top four teams in the league stage move to the knockout rounds. You cipher six teams, 84 cyber athletes and a grand prize pool of 51 lakh rupees. Hi everyone, my name is Aisha and today is day 14 of our championship and we have arrived at the penultimate match of our first round robin. Rivalries have been established and revenge is on everyone's mind. You know the best part about video games is that even though it's on the heavier side of war and pain, nobody actually gets hurt. But the adrenaline rush is that of an actual war. So without wasting any more time, let's start a day with a bang. Team number one, actually, we are tied on the top position and still one game to go. You have completely dominated this league because CS, you have a leadership in CS and obviously your upcoming player, Veer Bhadra. A platform like Ucypher, were you waiting for this? Ucypher, it's like a game-changing event. It's like something new has happened to the Indian gaming community. And it's established in Europe and America as well. China has already advanced in this. Korea has also done it. Korea has also done it. India should not fall back. Now India will do it. This is the time India is going to do it. We have so many talented gamers, man. We have so many talented gamers, so why don't we do it? Thanks, you sir, for supporting us. And we are going to give you results. Always on target! Go Marksman! Always on target! Go Marksman! Always on target! Go Marksman! Remstar. Bottom of the table, very unfortunate start for you guys, but there's a long way to go. What is the plan to creep in up on that table, man? Uh, still now we have six matches and uh, every league has this team that uh, you know writes the story of an epic comeback. Mm -hmm. So I think so Crusader is this uh, there for this league and uh, we are going to make this comeback and comeback is real, guys. David versus Goliath. The marksmen are top of the leaderboard with 47 points. Crusaders exactly on the opposite end with 18 points last. So it's going to be a hurricane task for the Crusaders to come anywhere close to a victory today. So as we've always spoken about, Crusaders have been lacking in the single player games. They yes. haven't been able to capitalize out there. Right. Then moving on to Counter-Strike, yes. where marksmen have not lost a game. A single game. Venom has stepped it up in Counter-Strike especially because right. he's the in-game leader also out there. Yeah. We're moving on to Dota 2. We have Crusaders with Remstar, the captain of the team. Again, he's been very inconsistent with the team. Right. Stepping down one match, needs to perform today because the marksman with Mage is looking unbeatable. So let's just jump into Tekken 7 and see if Ozzy can break the losing streak or Devras can continue with his winning form. Our first game of the day is known to be a stress buster. Tekken 7 is an intensely aggressive game that is bound to take your frustration away. So why don't you go ahead and have a look at the rules. Players select their characters in their own characters. In every round, the HP will be finished in every round. Every match is a race for winning three rounds. And the player who will win the first three matches will become the Tekken 7 winner. Let the battle begin! Welcome back to another game of the U Cypher League for Tekken 7 between the Marksmen and the Crusaders. And on Crusaders we have Ozzy. And on Marksmen we have Devraj. Round one. Let's get into the fight action fight. over here and Kazumi is gonna take a huge damage at the start of the game. Law pulling out some nice skills over there and now looks like it's gonna be a heavy task for Kazumi as he's gonna take some more damage. 
She is going low on XP and that kick to the face is gonna knock her out. Round two. Round number two begins with a nice combo from Lo. That was a nice crushing kick, combining it with a body drop. And Kazumi pulls out the rage art, but not in time as it's gonna be a knockout again. Round three. Fight. Lo starts the game with a crescent kick and a hit towards the low. And Kazumi coming back into the game with a nice kick to the head of Lo. And again the same move and both of them on equal HP right now. A good block from Kazumi and that whip punish to Law. Kazumi is now going with some heavy moves on Law. Law does have the rage out right now and he is not able to pull it on time. And that's a knockout. Against with Kazumi with a nice kick to Law's head and that's a crescent kick from Law. Law playing quite aggressive on Kazumi. Kazumi has rage art and she tried to execute it but blocked by Law and this is surely gonna be a knockout. Marksman wins the first game of best of 5-3-1. Can the change for Ozzy? It's now gonna be Kuma. So Kuma versus Law for this round and what a trade fight between these two. And that's a nice block by Kuma but still getting that huge hit and again a nice counter Kuma has the rage out on him and yes he is executing it on the perfect time and that's a home run Law just surviving on the HP he does have the rage out both of them now on equal HP and what is this a great move coming in from Law making him win this round a good reversal move from Kuma and the smash to the head and again he is just spamming that move Law is going on HP but this is working in the favor of Kuma and again a hit to the head he is just smashing him down Law has the rage out and yes it does connect but it's still gonna leave Kuma on that HP so a little bit of HP advantage on him just a slight a bit and he pulls the rage out and yes it does connect and it's surely gonna be a knockout. So Kuma getting one point in this round. Round number three fight begins. And what a kick from Law. He is playing aggressive now on Kuma. And those moves well, Kuma has the rage out on him, but won't be able to execute it. And that's a knockout. Round four. This is round number 4 and Law starting the game with a nice crescent kick and he's still applying some pressure on Kuma. He noticed that he is not blocking towards Low. A rage out on Kuma, executing on time and does connect but it's still gonna leave Law on a huge HP lead. Law just rushing towards Kuma and ends it with a crescent kick. One more, one more. Mark will win match number two, three, one. Round one. It's time Fight. for round number three of best of five. You come up with a good reversal and that knuckle buster to Kuma. Nice, nice. A good counter from Kuma as well. And Law again with that knuckle busting move to Kuma. This is amazing. Like, look at the HP lead on Law. Kuma does have the rage art now. He is so low on HP, but still pulls the rage art on time and is going to connect. It connects, but still taking a little bit hit from Law in that rage art. Law has just gone low on HP and now he has the rage art on him. What a perfect read from Kuma. Nice three blocks. He's going for a hit, but the big punish is going to make him lose. Law with the early sidestep in the game and but Kuma is still gonna smash his head again and again and Law coming back into the game with a nice combo with that crescent kick Kuma going low on HP pulls the rage out on time is it gonna connect and yes it does connect using the fish as a guitar and now going for a home run that is gonna make Law go low on HP but he is still playing a little passive and that knuckle buster to Kuma's face is gonna knock him out. Round three. Fight. This could be the last round for Law and Law is not gonna give Kuma any chance. Look at him, he has made Kuma getting stuck into the corners just taking a little bit of damage and that's a knockout that's close to perfect. You win.
Checkmate. What a fighter. मतलब effortless for you. Yeah. But you lost two rounds. How did that happen? Actually, two rounds में क्या हुआ? Osama ने actually काफी अच्छा किया जितना मैंने expect किया था. उसने मतलब उसने whiff punish किया. मैं देखा था consistently. उसे थोड़ा तो मतलब practice किया है. दिख रहा है अभी. But all in all, easy victory for you. मुझे तो easy नहीं लगा. ऐसा रहता है. कितने modest से ये. Captain, आपके लिए easy victory था ये. You relaxed. Yeah, I knew that they don't have a good Tekken player. So, I was relaxed, but still, when he came out of one round, I thought that this is what happened. Then, when he got a combo, I was sure that we will get out of here. Well, congratulations, starting the day off with a victory. The Marksmen are at 3 and the Crusaders are at 0. It's time for Game 2. This is a batting-only match. हर प्लेयर एक ओवर फेस करेगा जिसमें उसे मैक्सिमम रन्स बनाने होंगे मैक्सिमम रन्स बनाने वाला प्लेयर मैच जीत जाएगा टाई होने पर दोनों प्लेयर्स एक सुपर ओवर खेलेंगे टू डिसाइड द विनर। यूसाइफर में टॉस हैज प्लेड अ वेरी इंपोर्टेंट रोल एंड आई हैव बोथ द कैप्टन विद मी ऑल सेट फॉर द टॉस कौन कॉल करेगा uh, मैं कॉल करता हूँ किस्मत ही खराब है यार। तो विल बैट फर्स्ट। ऑल द बेस्ट। यू गाइस आर चेसिंग। थैंक यू। ऑल द बेस्ट कैप्टन। गुड लक। वेलकम बैक टू रियल क्रिकेट 17 एंड नाउ इट्स टाइम फॉर द गेम बिटवीन द क्रुसेडर्स एंड द मार्क्समैन। इट्स गोना बी किलर बी फ्रॉम द क्रुसेडर्स टू बैट फर्स्ट। First ball comes in for the Crusaders and it's directly to the stumps. He is out. Second ball whacks it towards the offside. It's going for a four. The third ball hits towards the leg and it's going to go for a four. Three balls, eight runs. And that's a huge hit, it's going in the audience, it's a six. Second last ball, again a huge hit, it's a six. The 20 runs in five balls. This is the last ball of the over. And again smash to the ball, it's going for a six. Marksman now need 27 runs to win this game. First ball of the over, and that's a good shot. It's going for a six. Second ball of the over, again a huge hit. It's going for a six. Towards the leg side, but this time it's a four. So three balls, sixteen runs. He has whacked it towards the leg side. It's going for a six. Second last ball, and that's a dog ball. This is the last ball of the over, and that's a huge hit, six runs. The Crusaders are at zero and the Marksmen are at six. Our short three-pointer games might be over, but we still have the heavy artillery left. Let's play CSGO. इस गेम में दो टीम्स होती हैं, एक टेररिस्ट टीम और दूसरी काउंटर टेररिस्ट टीम। ये एक टीम बेस गेम है जो फाइव वर्सेस फाइव के फॉर्मेट में खेला जाएगा। प्लेयर्स कौन सा मैप खेलेंगे, ये एक बैनिंग प्रोसेस से तय होगा। शुरुआत में दोनों टीम्स को 800 डॉलर्स की गेम करेंसी मिलती है। The aim of the terrorist team is to plant the bomb and secure it, or kill all the counter terrorists. 
the aim of the counter terrorist team is to either defuse the bomb or kill all the terrorists. इस मैच में 30 राउंड्स होंगे एंड द फर्स्ट टीम टू विन 16 राउंड्स इज द गेम विनर इन द केस ऑफ अ टाई द रिजल्ट विल बी डिसाइडेड विद अ रेस टू फोर विंस CS:GO has seven maps it's extremely crucial to know which map your opponent is good at and therefore choose wisely the captains are discussing this strategy right now let's have a look so guys aap un aaj wapis क्रिकेट और टेकन दोनों हार गए तो आज हमारा गेम क्रूसेडर के साथ है काफी इंपॉर्टेंट गेम है वो लोग एक ही मैच जीते हैं लेकिन उसे लाइटली नहीं लेना चाहिए हमें मार्क्स मैंने सामने सोचो मत अपने को एक एडवांटेज है वो लोग ओवर कॉन्फिडेंट रहेंगे और अभी तक एक भी गेम हारे नहीं है पूरे टूर्नामेंट में कॉबल और न्यू बैन कर देंगे आई थिंक वो लोग ओवर और ट्रेन हमारे अगेंस्ट नहीं खेलेंगे खेलने की जरूरत नहीं करेंगे बेसिकली बट यू गैस गिव यू हंड्रेड हम लोग जीत जाएंगे बाई चांस इन फर्नो आ गया तो फिर जो हमने पहले किया वो हम रिपीट नहीं करेंगे भी करते हैं पागल की तरह एक मोलेटो से भाग के आएगा कूद के आएगा कुछ तो करेंगे और वो राउंड जाने वाले लोग का अकेला कहीं बकरा बन के आएगा हाँ, बाकी चार प्लेयर्स कहीं और आएंगे और फर्स्ट सिटी पिस्टल हम लोग वही ए मेन पे फ्लैश पिक करते हैं ठीक है एंड टी पिस्टल हम लोग बी रस कर देंगे विदाउट थिंकिंग सब कॉन्फिडेंट हो रेडी डू दिस ठीक है ऑलवेज ऑन टारगेट मेरे साथ है द कैप्टन ऑफ मार्क्समैन द मैन एट द वेरी टॉप ऑल्सो अ सी एस गो प्लेयर एंड रेम स्टार कैप्टन ऑफ द क्रूसेडर्स विद हिज आई जी एल फॉर सी एस गो क्रिश वेनम यू गाइज हैवन लॉस्ट अ सिंगल गेम ऑफ सी एस गो सो फार इन यू साइफर दिस स्ट्रीक इज अन पैरल इज दिस वॉट यू गोना बी डूइंग टूडे टू आई मीन वी विल ट्राई आर बेस्ट बिकॉज बॉयज आर प्रिटी कॉन्फिडेंट फॉर दिस गेम आई टोल्ड दैम दी वर्क हार्ड वी वर्क ऑन आर स्ट्रेटीज एंड वी काइंड ऑफ नो हाउ दे प्ले But how uh, how do you know how they play? Because we have done our homework, and we have we have our strategies in place. Let's see if they can counter them. Then it will be a difficult task for us. Ramstar, the CS:GO IGL, the in-game leader, has changed multiple times during the course of your games. Why did that happen? Uh, first three games, we uh, decided that we'll uh, let Kavish lead because uh, his uh, natural talent is that he is an in-game leader. Uh, but then uh, later on, Kavish is an entry fragger, so he couldn't really play his uh, game because uh, the IGL has to like smoke flash and you know give the command to the entire team, right. so he has to like stay back and uh, not play aggressive. So we decided that Krish will be doing that uh, since he's so like so experienced and he's been captaining a lot of teams, and Kavish will just go ahead and play his like natural game and he'll be just going rampaging into the opponents. So Krish, is this true that when you're also the leader, your role in the CS:GO game in your team also gets compromised? Yeah, it gets compromised at some level, but uh, I don't let the team get the hit because of it. So I try to give the command as well. If I have an opportunity, I'll try to grab that. I'll go get some kills myself. So yeah, I'm going to try that today as well. So hopefully, it works out. Both our teams seem to be under very strong leadership, and uh, with a lot of will, they're going to go straight into CS:GO. Good luck. Hello everyone. Now it's time for some Counter Strike action between the Crusaders and the Marksmen. So this is the map Pito, and let's see what is the map for today. It's gonna be Inferno. So as you know, before the gun round, we are gonna have a knife round in which the winner gets to choose the side: T as in terrorist and C T as in counter terrorist. Inferno is one of the best maps of the marksman. So let's see what is their strategy on this map today. Well, here it goes. The knife round begins, and we Bhadra getting the first frag on Rex and Kavish over here goes for the second frag. It's gonna be slow in, but now struggling with his knife, couldn't find few frags. Rex with a backstab, and marksman wins the knife round, and they choose to play as CTs. so the strategies have been made by the teams and now it's time to execute the strategies looks like a setup for the marksman is 3 to 3 people on a and 2 on bomb side b and the t's are rushing towards the alley side when i'm holding towards the alley gets one frag but instantly it goes down by magic mouse magic mouse entering and gets one more frag on veer bhadra Krish holding towards the backstab and gets one frag and the second frag as well. Now it's Rex the last man standing for the marksman and he is just struggling over there. A 
player is gonna go for a knife on him and this is a total misery for him right now Kavish going for the backstab for him and ends the misery for Riggs Power holding towards house on slowly going over there and that's a headshot he goes down And Rix is gonna go for a sneak peek, but he is also gonna go down by power. Kavish pushing towards the balcony. He gets one as well. Slow and is down. So now when I'm holding towards the A side, Rex is not making it easy. And then he gets him as well. The marksmen now get the momentum in the game and they have their buy rounds. So they are defeating the Crusaders and now the score is equalized on 3v3. This is time for round number 7. And Venom with the 3 easy frags and Weebada over here gets one frag on Rick. An amazing headshot to Chris. Nice, nice, nice. nice Crusaders slowly pushing towards mid, only Kavish with the AK and others are on eco. And towards the arch, he gets spawned, slowing, holding towards the graveyard. He gets two instant kills on the Crusaders. Kavish totally flat, he is going for the hide over here. And Slowen gets one more frag, so triple kill coming in for Slowen. Venom coming from library is now struggling with his bullet, but finally managing to shut down power. Six to four, the current scoreline stands here. And Chris with that nade, but no one was pushing over there. And Riggs playing aggressive towards the house. He gets one frag on Magic Mouse. Magic Mouse going down. Jesse Virudra call I'm mid to left to rotate karke arch ke taraf se main CT pe aa gaya. Agar wo saath mein pick karta to shayad main ek hi maar pata and baaki do mujhe maar dete. Lekin ek ke baad ek ke baad ek aaye aur aur main tino ko maar diya. Three amazing kills again for Venom over here. And now Power, the lone guy left for the Crusaders. Five seconds on the clock, a 1v5 situation. He is actually going for a save. Win. Nice one, buddy. Nice one. Nice one. So the marksmen are totally dominating the Crusaders over here, winning rounds back to back. And now it's time for the last round. This is the last round of the first half and it's not looking good for the Crusaders because there is a huge lead on the Marksman. Riggs holding towards house, he gets one frag but instantly traded over there. Slow in pushing in from behind, he gets a frag as well and now struggling with his bullets, he is not gonna find more frags. Pawn holding on the side, he finds Rex and the second frag as well. Kavish alone left in a 1v3 situation, 50 seconds still on the clock, looks like he can manage it but still it's a difficult task for him. Slow and slowly moving towards the mid left and Kavish finds him and Kavish finds the second frag as well on Venom. Venom goes down making this a 1v1 situation for him. Will he be able to do it? And yes, he does it. A 1v5 clutch. So 10 to 5 is the current scoreline for the Marksmen and the Crusaders. What another interesting half of Counter-Strike we have just witnessed. Marksmen are clearly on a roll, especially Ankit out here, Venom. He's stepped up the game, he's taking every game seriously. He's very confident and he's not taking any of his opponents lightly. Again, a match winning performance of 18 frags in one half. I'd just like to add one point out here, which I'm still surprised with all the teams. They're letting Marksmen always pick Inferno. Yeah, and Marksmen are really strong on Inferno. While we've been talking, the Marksmen have seemed to increase their lead. Yes. They won the pistol round and the following anti-echoes. Yes. Can they close it out in the next few rounds? Let's go and have a look. So now it's time for the second half of this game and let's see what is gonna happen. So the sides have been switched, the Crusaders will be now playing as CTs and the Marksmen as Ts. Four man set up towards the alley side from the Crusaders. Slowin holding towards the boilers, Chris holding towards Spitz. Slowin makes an entry, gets one frag and now Kavish 
होल्डिंग ऑन टू द साइड एंड मैजिक माउस था पिट पे दो बंदे आ रहे थे साइड उसने डिस्टेक करा तो वो घूम गए मैंने उनको बैक पे मारा पैलेस वाला एक जो पिक आ, मुझे पिक कर रहा था मैंने उसे भी आउटेम करा और वो बंदा तो साइड प्लांट करने आ रहा था उसे भी मार दिया एंड कभी सिंगल हैंडेडली गेटिंग फोर फ्रैग्स On with that molly towards the alley side Chris is burning slowly to his death Rex holding a good angle but that smoke was a mess and that is going to be punished Pawn gets an easy kill on him so a 3v5 situation marks when with two men lead on their team Veer Badda with the C4 planting it towards the coffins Crusaders are actually going for a save in this round because the weapons they have is quite precious for them in this round. And power gets one frag and the second frag as well. मैं scope खोल के लगा के बैठा था। तू आ, मैं तेरे को बजाता हूँ उधर। पहला बंदा चल के मेरे crosser पे है, वो मरा। दूसरा बंदा smoke से छुप के city भागने की try कर रहा था। उसको मैंने स्पॉट कर लिया उसको मैंने मारा और तीसरा मैं रैंडमली स्मोक में एक फायर किया स्मोक में वो मर गया व्हाट एन अमेजिंग प्ले बाय पावर ओवर देयर क्रूसेडर्स विद एन अमेजिंग कमबैक इन दिस गेम लुक्स लाइक द मैच इज गोइंग अवे फ्रॉम द मार्क्समैन Rich with his off holding towards mid gets a frag on Riggs. Riggs goes down. Now Chris falling towards the pit side. He misses a shot on Veer Badra, but Veer Badra won't miss that shot. He gets an easy kill on him. Magic Mouse coming in with nice two frags. Riggs with a back step gets one. Goes for the second frag as well. Nice one. Nice one. The Crusaders had the momentum, and now this is gonna be the last round, the round number thirty. Well, this is the match point for the Crusaders. If they win this, they are gonna win this match. Magic Mouse holding towards the bed, and that smoke and molly combo is not good. So the molly has been extinguished by that smoke, and good smokes from the T's as well, blocking off the arch and the library. Magic Mouse still holding towards the pits. He is struggling with his bullets, and finally he gets one frag. Krish with his off, finds slow in, and now it's gonna be Kavish on the side. He is holding in the corners, gets one, gets the second as well, and the Crusaders have done it. What an amazing comeback by the Crusaders! This shows that nothing is impossible in this game. आज के गेम से यही सीखा कि हार के जीतने वाले को बाजी कर कहते हैं। After that crazy, crazy game of CS:GO, it's time for the last game of the day, Defense of the Ancient Two. You guys made a fantastic comeback in CS:GO, and now Dota 2 is your game. Yeah. So what can we expect from them? Marksman is the best team. They are the top of the leaderboard. Yeah. And ending your uh, first leg by beating them in a face-off is like a uh, makes a epic comeback. Like that's a great for boost yeah. for your team because. Yeah, yeah. We'll be starting the next round robin yeah. with defeating the best, best team in the league. Yeah. So we'll do what we are best at and just goose goose game. So are you playing today? Obviously, obviously. Nice. I'm going to play. IGL, what plan is it? This plan is that we have to stay in our basics. And we have to be confident that the team has practiced and then it will go good today. Do you know the gameplay? Uh, yeah, they are going to like, they have Mage. I will ra uh, rate uh, Mage as the best player right now because uh, uh, I told Venom also that he is the best carry. I play too carry, he also plays too carry. And his strat is that he is 4 protect 1. They are going to just protect him. So, if they do it, I will play too carry, I will play too carry. I will play too carry, I will play too carry. Do you know how happy you are? Yeah, yeah, totally. With the CSGO victory. Yeah, I didn't get the chance to play today. I didn't get the chance to play today. So, I didn't get the chance to play today. Let's see what happens in Dota 2. Dota 2, every player will select a hero for each player. इस गेम में दो टीम्स कंपीट करेंगी इन अ फाइव वर्सेस फाइव फॉर्मेट। हर हीरो के पास स्पेशल पावर्स और एबिलिटीज होती हैं। 
हर टीम का ऑब्जेक्टिव है अपने एंशंस को डिफेंड करना और अपने ओपोनेंट के सारे टावर्स को डिस्ट्रॉय कर देना जो टीम पहले एनिमी टीम के डिफेंस को तोड़कर उनके सारे टावर्स डिस्ट्रॉय कर देगी वो टीम जीतेगी Okay, folks, we are back and we are live with you, Cypher. Now, Sport 90 Superstars. Today, we got the Crusaders on the Dyer facing off versus the Marksmen on the Radiant. Crusaders, I mean, they got off to a really good start, but they've been on a rough run of late. They have smoked up rather awkwardly. Before the one minute mark, they might find Pashu for the troubles. Bakemono with the rolling boulder. Pashu stationary, not moving. Finally starts to run towards I this tier 2. I can't really blame Pashu for this. I mean, who expects to be ganked that far out close to his tier 2 tower? But that's a kill nonetheless for the Crusaders. They're off to a good start here. Viper on the middle lane, duking it out versus the Tinker. Invincible should theoretically have the upper hand in this lane. The laser blind will work wonders versus the Viper and the auto attacks. But with Pashu in the vicinity, they've got a lot of slows to work with. Invincible, he's actually turning around, throws down the rockets with one laser as well. It looks like Viper's got the Perry Fire. He's going back into the kill, and Pashu with the second frost blast will get the kill. Bottom lane, Itachi got can land a decent crush, and Darshan needs to be careful. Mage is there with the Blade Fury. Darshan trying to make a run for it. Does have the ensnare from the summon troll or the devout troll and that's not gonna ensure his survival. Bakimono is here with the boulder smash but I'm not really sure what he's thinking at this point. Rolling boulder defensively Bakimono does end up surviving. An invis rune on Pashu. He's gone under the tower. He gets boulder smashed under the tower and then he gets slowed down as well but with Viper and that Viper strike that's a comfortable kill in favor of the Radiant. Now Top. dead. Yeah, Remstar, he's gotta be careful. He dropped the call down, pops the one charges, has a little bit of HP to work with, runs towards Red, but Hitachi God with the right clicks will secure the kill. Yeah, there was a fine line between a good gank and a disaster of a play there for Pashu and the boys. They almost got wiped by Remstar, but they made that gank look easy at the end of it. Now with the smoke, they're going hunting for more inside the jungle. Invincible spotted to the right. He has a DD rune. They've pinged him out quite desperately as well. The sprint is worn off, but they've drawn the sticky napalm as well as the frost blast. There should be a death on Invincible. The question is, will there be a retaliation? Looks like the answer is no. Too much excitement is happening over here. The game can go either way. Take a short break because I need it and I'm sure you need it. And when we are back, we'll find out who wins Rota 2. Now Itachi got an invis. Yeah, bottom lane, you got the boulder smash. He, he clipped Itachi God, but I don't think the Crusaders really had vision of him. And Itachi God, he's moving for the bigger target here. Does manage to crush Darshin. You got the corrosive haze giving him vision. Mage can't quite keep up with the blade fury. And Darshin turns around with the doom. Mage being controlled, the rolling boulder, an absolute white ball. But the boulder smash is there along with the grip. It silences both of them while Darshin as well as Bakimono both find a kill each. Now you've got a lasso coming out. They're going for Invincible on that Tinker. Shutting down early is absolutely crucial. Your Invincible's about to die. He fairy fires up, stays alive for now, but Mage comes in and puts a stop to that. The Chain Frost bouncing about behind while Remstar on the front lines goes to work on the Viper who's also linked up to Red who's trying to make a run for it. Remstar catches him with the homing missile, goes for the retaliation kill, gets a double for himself. Yeah, good early game aggression coming out from the Crusaders. But, I mean, mid lane, they've got to be careful. The Batrider is almost done for with the drop coming out from the Warlock. They are chasing for more. Bakimono's got the magnetized Infernal Blade on the Viper. But look at Pashu with the link. He'll end up falling. Invincible secures the kill on Viper as well. And Crusaders finding this key mid-game momentum that they so badly need if they're hoping to close this game. Yeah, twice now it's been a big drop coming out from SSK that's turned the fight in their favor but for now when they're reaching high ground the drop comes out once again the Omni Slash was there, Doom has been eliminated and so has that Infernal, the chaotic offering, a complete whiff this time around. 
Batrider stunned in his tracks, unable to pursue for now. He's still trying to give Chase blinks forward into a March laser and a rocket. Hello, sir, says Bakemono as he gets that kill. Yeah, really risky play coming up from Red. He had no vision of the high ground and he paid with his life for that one. Mid one Darshan, mid lane Darshan with the shadow amulet. He's got the doom onto the juggernaut. The blade fury is going to come to an end and there's Bakemono with the boulder smash. But the chain crush bouncing around. They're turning it. Mage gets a double. He's still alive. वहाँ पे एक्चुअली प्लान ऐसा था कि टिंकर को मारना था पर बाद में मुझे पशु ने कॉल दिया कि टिंकर अगर मिल रहा नहीं है तो गायरों को ही मार देते क्योंकि उनका सबसे ज़्यादा डैमेज देने वाला हीरो था तो हमने गायरों को इनिशिएट कर दिया गायरों को मैं पोलिंग टैसो करके पोस्ट ऑफ करके अंदर लिया गायरों को मार दिया वहाँ पर फिर डूम खुद चल के आया और उसने थ्रो कर दिया Bottom lane, he's got the drop mage with the blade fury trying to run. He got the magnetize onto a bunch of them, but Bakemono might pay with his life. He's dropping as many remnants as possible. Elsewhere, the laser manages to bring down the bat rider. Viper being chased, the rockets are there. The heat seeking missile along with the rocket barrage secures the kill onto him. Now in the jungle, you've got Darshan getting jumped upon. His doom still available. He's looking for a target. Mage jumps in, though starts the fight with an omni slash, brings down Darshan, bounces over to a few more, goes to work on SSK, who's got the corrosive base upon him. Mage, has he gone a bit too far out now? Thirty minutes in, the score is twenty to nineteen. Marksman with a small lead, but look at this mate just jumps in with the blink dagger, has the army slash, will get the kill on the invincible. Pops the mantis and looks to run Bakemono though magnetize on to two. He wants Pasho at the very least to turn around, top the chain frost as well. The viper will secure the kill onto the earth spirit while the heat seeking missiles will manage to bring down Pasho. Viper giving chase marksman though it seems as if they're going to make a run for it, and they did get two kills for all their trouble. 40 minutes in, 30 to 22 with Remsar on the side. Now Red jumps in, finds Invincible on that Tinker. They'll get the Abyssal Blade. They could delete the last layer of defense of the high ground here. Crusaders, they've lost their Tinker. Darshan's coming in to try and bring down Mage, but he's got the Blade Fury and they'll keep him alive for now while Darshan's being herded back into the fountain. He doesn't have a Doom to work with. They'll slow him down and they'll keep him out of the fight while Mage comes back with a Healing Ward to finish up on the barracks. Now Bakemono, a last ditch effort on the front lines. With the death of the Doom, this could be all she wrote. Crusaders, they'll tap out. Invincible will call the GG alongside SSK and it's a heartbreaking loss for them as marksmen will continue their domination at USI for season 1. As the game is over, I noticed that Hussain is crying. जाके उसको अप्रोच किया तब वो काफी डीमोटिवेट और काफी लो हो गया था। मैं भी चिल्ला रहा हूँ अपने वालों को और मैं भी रोता हूँ उसमें तेरी चली क्या बोल रही है? काफी लोगों को बराबर से रुला था ना, दूर रुला था ना, बात करो तेरे को गेम का क्या? राज दूर हो रहा है। हम गेम हार चुके हैं। उसमें से अगर आपको कोई टीम बेट पिन पॉइंट करता है कि तू उधर होता था तो हम गेम जीत सकते थे, तो बुरा लगता है। After that great game of Dota 2, Marksman, you guys have won the face off against the Crusaders. You guys are 11, and you guys are 5. Also, you guys are at 58 points. Go Marksman! Congratulations for being the top team and hard luck. You have five more games to go. Good luck. Thank you. Still unbeaten after five encounters. Small blip here with your first loss in CS, but still overall a pretty dominant win for the Marksman. This again started with a win in Tekken, a win with the Cricket, a loss as we said with CS, but a win with the Dota squad as well against a pretty good Dota setup against you. How do you rate this performance overall from your side? Overall, uh, match against Crusaders was uh, pretty easy for us, I would say, because our individual games we already knew that our players are way better than theirs. Right. So. We had uh, no issues winning those. There was like a one-sided wins, and uh, we were a bit skeptical about Dota. Right. So the Dota lineup was pretty uh, strong on paper. Yeah. So uh, we weren't sure if our Dota players would, you know, uh, live up to the mark and win against them. Yeah. But they did. And uh, as for CS, uh, we've been winning all the matches up till now. Yeah. So we were pretty confident that even this would, this match, uh, we would, we would uh, win. 
because even the map that we had it was in our favor yeah. uh, we kept playing inferno and we kept winning that yeah. so somewhere down the line i think they knew what we were doing because right. we kept playing them and uh, all the players and all the captains and teams keep talking amongst each other and they they want to know like what's happening un log kaisa khel rahe hain what we can exploit and what are the tendencies yeah. how they play what are the strategies and all that so i think uh, that's something that they picked up on and uh, i think uh, this loss i don't take it uh, to my heart as such yeah. because i think this is a good learning curve right so i think this loss i, I can take it positively for my team well rex between you and venom the experience is there the youth is clearly there the skill sets are there and it's still a good win i know it's a small blip with the cs loss but it's still a good win overall and i think uh, We're still going to see the best of the marksmen to come after this. The marksmen have won day 14 of U Cipher and now our ever-changing leaderboard has a new leader. Have a look. This is just the start for the gamers. It'll get tougher game after game. To watch today's entire gameplay, you can log on to usports.in. Tomorrow we have the Akramaks go up against the Yodhas only on U Cipher Naya Sport, Naya Superstars, a U Sports initiative. My name is Varun and I'm Aisha. Do you cipher? Let's be wise up. Do you know how afternoon job plays? I'm going to kill him in 12 seconds. Hey, what's up? 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 Hey, what's up?